Hi friends, uh, today's topic is a conversational AI. I'm pretty sure you would have seen uh, or you would have had an opportunity to interact with uh, chatbots in different part, uh, period of time and that is what I is called as conversational AI because here we are not going to do anything in terms of a machine understandable form but rather it is more like um, uh, we are uh, making machine to understand our natural language the way we normally interact with another human being so this is what i call as uh, nlp which is uh, natural language processing right so there are two ways i look at it uh, to build a bot for that matter uh, one is a very simple but a dirty way the other one is little hard but gives you a lot of options let's see the pros and cons of it but for those who are beginning in chatbots i wanted to give you a hang of it so at the end of this session you'll be able to deploy or you'll be able to build your own bot and deploy it in a matter of say 10 to 15 minutes so can we get started let's do it um, so let's take a scenario say for example you have made an order you have made a purchase in a with a merchant and now you want to know where is your order and uh, you are getting onto the merchant side and trying to inquire hey i want to know where is my order so assume that there is no machine over here how this conversation will flow let's just visualize it this is what i will call as designing so we'll say hi and that is you which i'll abbreviate as y and we'll say hi and the merchant let me call yam as yam Let's say hello how can I help you uh, a little bit of it and I'll say I want to check my order sure may I have your order number please you will say you can just say some number and say this is my order the merchant will do a check and will say uh, your order one two three four five six in this case is on track for delivery tomorrow and you will say oh thanks this is a very normal conversation which you would have seen i'm not even invoking any machine over here it's a very casual one right so if we have to do this in a human to machine form now what we need to do is we need to train the machine to understand what we are actually doing so when you say hi for me it is nothing but it's a greeting right and a greeting Certain people can say hi, some people can say how are you, certain people can say howdy, certain people can say hi I am. There are a lot of ways and from the part of India where I come from, it's called as Tamil Nadu. We speak a language called Tamil which is a very ancient language. Here we normally uh, use vanakam as a greeting, right? So these are all called as expressions but the intent of all this expression is greeting so greeting is an intent and these are expressions so for this intent the merchant has to greet you back and he has to say okay fine you greeted me but i know that you need some support from me what do you need so that is the response right and again you say i want to check my order so the intent here is order check and the expression can vary you can say may i know the status of my order or you can even say uh, inquiry on my order there can be n different ways to ask it the expression may vary so a well built bot will be trained on multiple expressions so that it understands what is your intent is so identifying the intent is the first part of it then once it has identified then you can program it or let the bot know how to respond this can be done in two ways one is you can go ahead and uh, train it manually 
or the machine learning algorithm can self train based on scenarios wherein it's unable to answer then it understands why I was not able to answer so which intent it really belongs to so as it learns more and more uh, it becomes more robust right now you have given an order number this order number is a little different uh, it is specific to this particular inquiry so here I call it as entity this is an entity of an expression and then you go ahead and say yeah this is what it is so this is your order status and finally you say thanks and the machine says you are welcome and this is again a thanking intent right now in a normal conversation we have seen a greeting intent we have seen an order check intent we have seen an order status intent and we have seen a thanking intent now how do we do this using a bot so there are a lot of sites which helps you to uh, train your bot on any particular use case and deploy it i'm going to take one such case this is called as uh, uh, a dialogue flow a dialogue flow you can just go to the dialogflow.com uh, using your google id or a facebook id and then i create an agent agent is nothing but your blog so let i will say i'm going to say an order inquiry it doesn't allow white spaces so ensure that you have an iphone out there you created it by default dialogue flow will give you two intents one is a welcome intent and the other is a fallback intent we are just waiting to see that let's wait all this are default language the language you wanted and the time zone where your bot will be deployed uh, i'm just using an asian time zone so you you feel free to choose any one among them you have uh, depending on where you live now as i said there are two intents a fallback and a welcome intent the fallback intent is if at all a bot is unable to understand what the user has typed in say for he entered some junk characters for example it shouldn't crash so it will have a standard response a welcome intent let's open this it has too many expressions say it says hello hi howdy hey there hi there greetings so for any of this input which is given by the user it will understand it is a welcome intent and it will have a standard response it will say how are you doing hello how can i help you good day greetings so it will randomly select one of this and respond back right uh, say for example if i want to add more to it for as i said i want to add when i come to it right i can do it and i just say save it got added so if a user types when i come this bot will understand it is a greeting intent and it will respond back with one of these responses and remember I have not marked this as end of the conversation because this is just the beginning. Once you know the thanking intent is done as what we have seen, then you can mark it as end of the conversation. Now if you just want to try it, you go here and say hi and the machine gives you a response. Good day, what can I do for you today? Or if you can say wanna come hello how can i help you but if you just type some junk characters say i missed what you said what are that this is from the fallback intent right now this is all done uh, let's go ahead go ahead and create another intent um, so i'm going to add an intent so the as well as we saw in this flow order check right so let's create an intent order check so it's save now i have to say what it is right so i'm going to add some training phrases i'm going to say i want to check my order let's say order status please and where is my order it's an authoritative way um so you can keep adding any number of training phrase there is no end to it now i want to add response so what should be the response is sure 
may i know your order number please or oh, what we have given here yep or can i say absolutely please provide your order number now you just save this and you can always try here say for example there is where is my order the machine has learned and say sure may I know your order number please now you saved it then you go ahead and create an another intent that you say order oh. Oh. create intent you say order check I think it's already there order oh. check see this I'm going to say the user can say my order number is he can give any order number say for example let's keep it as a five or four digit one or he can just give the order number or he can say uh, yes yes here it is and he can give a order number now in all these cases you have a number coming in so i'm going to select it it's a number so let me give a wait let me give a value order i send number here order number here order number so he has given you order number and the response will be uh, you check the order and you are saying that okay this is your order status actually you need to have a back-end logic to do a real check where the order is but for simplicity sake I'm not getting into the details of the back-end I'm just uh, assuming that okay the order is on track and I'm putting it back here so here you go put it and you need to reply back with the same order number so that is order number right now save but there are ways with, uh, and i don't want to get into it right away wherein you can integrate a backend api which will take this parameter go and check it in your uh, business logic to see where exactly is the order and get the status and correspond back to it but let's not get into too much of complexities right now then the last thing we have is a thanking intent right so let's get on to a thanking intent i'm going to create a intent called as thanking save and the training phrase is thanks or you can say thank you wow that's cool and the response can be you are most welcome uh, you are most welcome thanks anything here I'm going to mark it as end of the conversation because your transaction is done so if you are going to deploy this bot over an Alexa or a Google assistant that means that after this it will switch off the um, mic and the speakers for this particular transaction right now what we have done essentially is deployed or, or built a very simple bot for a very uh, simplistic use case which we have taken let us just see what are the intents we have built the intents is we have a default fallback a welcome intent a order check a order check status and a thanking intent now if you want to try it we can say hi and the uh, user response is greetings how can i assist i want to check my order sure may I know your order number please i'm going to say three four five six 
And I'm going to say your order three, four, five, six is on track for delivery tomorrow. Then I'm going to say thanks. It says the response thanks. Now, can you deploy this? There are various ways you can do it. Get, just get onto this integration. You'll see a lot of avenues where you can do. We can do it in your own Facebook Messenger. You can do it in Twitter. You can do it in various places. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm just taking a web demo. This is the link. Now I'm in a, and you can share this link through WhatsApp with all your friends to so just check them, saying that okay, hey, look, I developed a cool bot. Can you just try? Want to try? So why don't we try this now? Yep, it has come here. This is our order inquiry, the bot which we created. I'm going to say hi. It comes to say hi. How are you doing? Uh, good. I want. I want to check my order. Absolutely, please provide your order number 4567. Your order is on track for delivery. Thanks. You are most welcome. Done. Right? So here it ends. Uh, but I will not recommend to take this uh, quick and dirty approach always because one, your data is not with you in your server it is there in cloud with someone else and you don't have a grip on how this algorithms are getting trained and whether it is robust enough uh, number three if someone of them goes out of business all of a sudden your bot is or uh, the user experience drops so these are cool ways to do something very quick and for a casual approach but if you want to do something on your own, there are a lot of uh, uh, real options. Microsoft provides a bot framework, but there you are again locked with Microsoft. Amazon does it. Uh, my preference is to build uh, on your own using Python, uh, wherein you have your ability to train some of the machine learning algorithms. Uh, I will be uh, using something called uh, uh, RASA, RASA natural language understanding framework it is free of cost it operates with node.js uh, that is something we will see in subsequent sessions so we will have two or three uh, we'll have two more sessions on it session number one wherein you'll set up your environment using python and node.js a uh, little bit of uh, making your hands dirty by installing anaconda and its related software i will be giving you the command lines for it it's all absolutely free and the next thing is uh, Python code wherein you will be able to do the same use case uh, in a very different way and uh, see how your algorithm gets trained uh, so that's going to be interesting and if you are very uh, eager to uh, uh, get one step more and to learn more couple of books which I will recommend one is an introduction an easy guide to making your own chatbot if you are having a Kindle unlimited uh, subscription, it comes at no cost for you. It is again, it has one more uh, boutique site where you can develop bots on your own and deploy it uh, everywhere uh, much easier. And this uh, book, Building Chatbots with Python, it's an amazing book. It uh, handholds you and guides you in the right way. It has both the Kindle version and I believe the paperback is around 1600 rupees. Indian rupees. Uh, it's one of the book which I'll suggest. Uh, again, uh, this is a very quick way of doing it. Uh, I hope uh, after this you will go ahead and uh, create your own board. Uh, I'll recommend once you are done it, email it to me, uh, query shami at uh, gmail.com. I'll be more than glad to see how you have done it and uh, let's keep building more and more natural bots. Thank you.